the Bullwhacker elk feeding site is up and running for the winter season. The goal is to keep elk away from the public. Elk did move down Warm Springs to the Big Wood River. Uh, historically, that was all winter range. Um, and some of that has now been replaced by development. <clears throat> and, um, you know, anytime we, we ex have situations where elk are in urban areas, there's potential for conflict. The site was started around 1950 and is the only commission approved feed site in Idaho. Bullwhacker is a little bit unique in that the intent of the feed site is, is primarily, it's not about elk survival, it's about keeping elk out of an urban area. Over the last decade, the site averages roughly 125 elk, which are fed compressed alfalfa pellets. We've got it kind of set up where we can, we can spread the elk out a little bit and feed them. We feed them in troughs to keep the food off, up off the ground. Um, it's specially ordered food designed for elk. However, chronic wasting disease was found in the Clearwater region of Idaho in the fall. The fatal neurological disease affects deer, elk, and moose, and is causing concern among hunters and wildlife advocates. It's spread when these animals gather in large numbers. In states where chronic wasting disease has been discovered, um, there is a lot of concern about how uh, elk and deer feeding stations can help spread, uh, accelerate the spread of the disease. Idaho Fish and Game are monitoring conditions closely by collecting frequent samples. If we do detect CWD in the region or in that area, then we'll, we'll respond to it and assess how we're going to um, change or alter the way that we manage the bull back if chronic wasting disease is found near Bullwhacker, Idaho Fish and Game will alter the feeding site accordingly. Bella Bright, Idaho News 6.